Newyorker.com. Articles in the New Yorker and Rolling Stone magazine have Albuquerque and its police department in the national spotlight. Yesterday, we sat down with District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg to discuss the articles and her connection to APD. And tonight, Mike Springer has more with Brandenburg, who spoke frankly about a relationship with the department and its chief. District Attorney Carrie Brandenburg says the relationship between her office and the Albuquerque Police Department is not what it once was. She sat down with Action 7 News reporter Laura Terrain to talk about the scathing articles in the New Yorker and Rolling Stone magazines. They focus on the many officer involved shootings in recent years and what some say has been a lack of change in culture at APD. Brandenburg says it has her seeing things in a new light. Maybe I should have been. Some ways I couldn't have been. But my eyes are open now. Um, I see the bigger picture. I know but Brandenburg and the police department have been at odds of late. Police are looking into allegations Brandenburg may have stepped in to keep her son out of legal trouble. Earlier this month, Brandenburg's office charged APD officers Keith Sandy and Dominique Perez in the shooting death of homeless camper James Boyd. Weeks later, Brandenburg's office was asked to leave the scene of an officer involved shooting. APD says Brandenburg's decision to prosecute the officers in the Boyd shooting presents a conflict of interest, and it wants an independent prosecutor to handle future police shootings. I don't think we have a partnership. I don't think we had one. I wanted to believe we did, but we don't. Brandenburg says she's only talked to Chief Gordon Eden twice in the past year. With former chiefs, Brandenburg says they would talk several times a week, if not daily. I don't think we have courageous leadership. Uh, in the police department. And it breaks my heart to say that because I know there were times that we did have courageous leadership. Brandenburg says she'd like to sit down and talk with Chief Eden and says there needs to be honesty and transparency if things are going to change. She also admits she's made some enemies, but says she also understands what that could mean for her. Yeah, it comes at a price. I have paid a price already for taking this stance. I will continue. It's a price I'm ready to pay. It's a price I agreed to pay when I was elected. Chief Gordon Eden released this statement in an Eden says he's concerned and disappointed in the DA's comments. He says it's unfortunate that the DA hasn't expressed those concerns to him directly. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Mike. Since 2012, the city has paid out more than $11 million in settlements, judgments, and legal fees, and there are more cases pending.